right, so we've got our website set up here with the default WordPress installation. Uh, this is running on what is called the 2011 theme, and I'll show you more about that. But basically, when you first install WordPress on the domain name, this is what it looks like after it you know, ends up propagating from uh, GoDaddy or Bluehost or whoever you your host is and however you install WordPress. Uh, this is what the default install looks like uh, with the only thing custom here being just the title is here Nature Baby Outfitter and that is it and it's just showing you an example of a, the home screen with uh, in this case the blog this hello world is like a fake blog post for you to check out and then, then here's a basic sample page so you can see the header image changed and this is just showing you what a sample page looks like. So that's the default uh, WordPress installation. That's what it looks like on our domain name, naturebabyoutfitter.com in this example. Uh, so then in order to change anything and to really build the site, we need to log in to the back end of the site into our WordPress dashboard. So uh, you can see here if I take off the page ID to whatever after the dot com and just hit enter, this is our home page, which right now is set to be the blog. So to, to log into your WordPress dashboard, uh, the URL or web address is just whatever.com. So in this case, naturebabyoutfitter.com forward slash wp dash admin and then you just hit enter and you'll see here this is the login screen to access the WordPress for the site which when you installed WordPress you created your username and password uh, I, I usually recommend that you just start with admin as your username and then um, create a really strong password that has uppercase lowercase numbers and symbols in it and make it more than you know like five characters make it more like ten or something like that so I'm just gonna take this off and go back to the front end of the site here because I've already got this login screen open on another tab here so you can see this is how I like to work on a site I have the back end or the WordPress side on the tab and then I have the front end of what looks like uh, what the public sees of your website on another tab so whenever I make a change in WordPress I can go over to the front end and see what it looks like but there's many different ways to do that we'll go over that in a little bit so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, type in our admin and uh, our password here and I'm going to hit remember me so this is just easier to log in quicker when I do it in the future. And this is what you know your first time in your WordPress dashboard what it looks like. So I'm going to kind of go over what we're seeing here a little bit and then we're going to just build out a basic website. Um, you can see this top part here uh, there's you know, there's another way you can get to the front end of your site. Um, you know, this would be comments to your blogs, and this would be create a new post or page. Uh, you can see we're logged in over here as admin. You can log out by clicking there. But this area here is called, uh, you know, just sort of the main dashboard area. And this information down here is mostly what we'll work with. Jetpack up here at the top you can see it just basically brings a lot of the functionality of WordPress uh, the free WordPress uh, blogging site you know where if you have a myblog.wordpress.com uh, you can use some of the functionalities of that WordPress site on your own private website like they have their own analytics which is actually quite nice and some social media share functionality but anyways, that's what Jetpack is. So I'm just going to close that out. And it jumped down to plugins here. We'll get to that in a second. I'm just going to head back to dashboard. And 
this is just sort of some instructions on getting started which you can follow if you like but we're, I'm just going to kind of walk you through through it so this is really what the main dashboard screen looks like and uh, you can see we're running on WordPress 3.4.1 or I'm sorry uh, we're probably on 3.4.0 uh, there's an update available uh, we'll get we'll talk about updates a little later uh, but really the main thing we want to look at over here to build a basic responsive website is a website is essentially a collection of pages or web pages um, you know with like a menu structure at the top and you can kind of navigate through those different pages uh, and then the blog functionality is sort of like a news feed whereas like a page you might have a um, you know about us page where you write about you or your business or both and that content doesn't really change whereas a blog post is sort of like a news update like we just added these products to our store or we're going on this fundraising mission to this country and we're looking for other people to join us those kind of news items are more blog posts um, things that are updated and change a lot so that's really the difference between a post and a page. Uh, so we're going to build a basic website here. We're not going to focus too much on the blog. And we're mostly going to focus on the page here. So uh, you can see over here, this navigation over here, this menu on the left, is really how you access different parts of your website and can change different things. So the first thing we're really going to key in on is just building out our web pages uh, which some people call that a site map so it sort of shows the architecture of your site uh, so you could have like a home page and then you could have uh, another page uh, like say a store and then you could have little sub pages under that like men's women's so you could keep breaking it down and that creates sort of like a uh, outline structure that um, is basically becomes what web people call a sitemap. But anyways, we're not going to get super complicated here. We're just going to talk about, you know, a basic sort of portfolio or um, brochure website that has about five pages or so. So just going back to the front end, you can see we have one page that looks like this and our blog is on the home screen so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to pages here all pages and we see that sample page which looks like this so there's our sample page and we're actually gonna change that so we're gonna focus on our home page uh, for Nature Baby Outfitters, Outfitter, which is a, a natural parenting store. So I've already got some basic content together for that. So I'm going to go ahead and click here on sample page because we I'm just going to change the existing page. If we wanted to add a new page, we could just click this button. But clicking on sample page, I'm going to title this Welcome and you can see all this content here this is just like um, sort of like an email you're probably used to seeing a little editor like this in your email or, uh, client or whatever so writing a page or a blog post is very similar to using a word processor or uh, writing an email a lot of the same little symbols and, and things you see up here above the editor area are similar I'm just going to click on this one here. This one's called the kitchen sink. It just shows us a little more options. So the first thing I'm going to do is just basically add some text content. So I'm going to go over here. I've already pre-written a little bit of text for my home page. I'm just going to copy that in. And this is just plain text in paragraph. It's, there's no um, you know, heading features or anything like that on there uh, and I'm just gonna hit update 
and I'm going to go over to our sample page here and I'm going to hit the refresh button and you'll see that this website changed to uh, have the new text. So you can see on the menu it says welcome and then the text that we just copied and pasted in it says hello and welcome to Nature Baby Outfitters. We're an attachment parenting product and resource center in Kalispell, Montana. We serve our local community here in Montana's Flathead Valley and ship attachment parenting baby gear worldwide through our online store. So that's sort of a basic welcome message. Now, uh, this header image is, you know, not quite what we want for this, uh, this page of the website. And I've actually got some, uh, some images that you know we're going to change that later but first let's just focus on populating the text and building out our our structure and then we'll make it look pretty later so that's great you know we've updated this we've uh, created our first web page on our website and it's on the menu uh, just to go over these buttons real quick you know, this is the bold, italics, the strike through. If you want a bulleted list, a numbers list, a little quote looking text area so the, the text actually comes in and looks a little different, like it's a quotation. You know, your usual alignment buttons. You can create a link or break a link. You can hide some content under a read more uh, link. You can do some spelling check. You can edit in full screen. Um, we're writing this text here is in paragraph, but if we wanted like a title uh, to be bigger, we would change use one of these headings, which basically creates a larger font, maybe bold. Um, so that's what that is. Underline, you know, make everything even aligned to the edges. We can change the color of our text, you know, with this these type of color editing tools. And then we can, uh, you know, copy and paste text from Word and uh, in text editor, erase formatting, um, insert a custom character, like all this stuff. And uh, indent, redo, undo, and then there's a little help function right there. So that's, in a nutshell, really fast, uh, what this page is going to look like and how to edit inside this WordPress editor. So let's go ahead and create some more pages. I'm going to hit all pages here and this gives us an overview of our pages. And I'm going to add a new one. You can see whenever you're building a web page, you don't have it doesn't have to be complicated as far as what your content is. So uh, you know, you can just conceptualize your website on a little Word document or I'm just using a little text editor like Here's the whole website right here and then I have some pictures I'm going to add to each page so um, I see here that I missed a little content for our home page I just copied this first part so I'll come back to that but let's go ahead and create the about page so I'm going to type about and I'm going to take this text, copy it, paste it, and I'm going to hit publish. And that's our about page. Our mission at Nature Baby Outfitters is to provide high quality, environmentally friendly, and responsibly priced products while providing education, resources, and emotional and social support to local families. So. I'm going to go on over to here to the front end, hit refresh, and it looks like the about page was automatically added to the menu here. So you can see there it is. All right, and this little area down here is a, you know, where people can comment on this page if we want that or we can turn that functionality off, but we'll like I said, we'll make it look pretty later. So, let's add another page add new and we're going to have a store page and 
just going to copy that content, paste it there, publish. Again, we're just going to verify on the front end, automatically add it to the menu there. So there it is. And now we're going to add another page, which is our contact. And I'm just going to paste this content in like that. Publish. And you can see here, so we're building a five page website. So we've got our home page or our welcome page, store, contact, and about. And this home page, what says home from the default install is actually our blog. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to create a new page. Called, and I'm going to call it blog or you could call it news uh, or articles uh, it doesn't have to be called blog and I'm just I'm going to leave it blank I'm not actually going to put any content in there and I'm going to hit publish and then I'm going to go over here to appearance or I'm sorry settings general Uh, actually uh, reading settings reading and this is telling me the front page displays your latest post which is the blog but I, I don't want my home page to be a uh, the blog I want it to be the welcome page so I'm going to change this to a static page and it's going to be the welcome page and the post page or the blog I'm actually want to be on blog to be the you know the menu item for that so I'm gonna hit save changes and go back to our website here and you can see now our welcome has been transformed to home uh, about blog contact store so this is our blog is now under blog so you can see the hello world um, you know demo content demo blog post in there and these uh, you know these aren't necessarily in a bad order but we can change that order later if we want and uh, up here let's go ahead and just change this this is just the default uh, tagline for the site so you can see it says nature baby outfitter just another WordPress site so I'm gonna go over here settings general and I'm going to change that from just another WordPress site to for your parenting adventure. Hit save changes. All right, great. So I'm going to hit refresh here, and you can see that. Uh, now the, the tagline is there and also if you remember I forgot a little bit here so for the home page so I'm going to go back to pages all pages welcome which is our home page and I'm just going to move down here and copy this paste it in there hit update let's go ahead and take a look at it live as it's updating okay there's our second paragraph and now um, to go ahead and turn off this I don't really want comments on my home page so I'm gonna turn off this comments functionality on this particular page some people want comments on their pages and that's fine um, a lot of people just kinda keep the comments on their blog posts it's a personal decision. It's totally up to you what you want to do. But I'm just going to head over here and uh, go to pages. And then 
you can see a list of all our pages here. Here's welcome our home page. I'm going to hit quick edit. And here you can see the title, the slug, which is um, basically uh, sort of like what the search engines see for what comes after the dot com. And uh, you know you can um, you can customize these slugs and um, that is a little bit more advanced, so we'll we'll talk about that in a later video. But uh, I'm going to uncheck this allow comments, hit update, and while I'm here, I'm actually going to uncheck that on all these. Be sure to hit update. People get into a lot of trouble with WordPress. They do a bunch of work in different screens or whatever. I'm actually going to leave the comments on our blog. And I'm going to hit update here. People get in a lot of trouble by not doing a bunch of work and that, then not clicking on update or save changes. So be sure uh, after you do a bunch of work that before you close that page or go to something new that you've saved your work or hit the update or the save draft or uh, you know publish button. Uh, otherwise, you, you may lose the work you did. So anyways, back to the home page and you'll watch, see that those comments disappear. So now we have a nice, clean, simple web page. And let's go back to our welcome page in the WordPress editor. You can see here on my notes, I've got a little YouTube video that's actually about attachment parenting. And if I were to paste it in just like this, uh, there's the full YouTube link with the HTTP colon forward slash forward slash www.youtube, etc and I hit update, let's see what happens here. It went ahead and inserted this uh, video, which is really pretty cool. And this is just a uh, attachment parenting attachment is really parenting sort of is really introduction American parenting. video to uh, because what the ideas have kind of filtered is. down to every modern American. So anyways, uh, that's one of the nice things about this default installation of WordPress, this 2011 theme it's called, handles just a simple uh, YouTube link and automatically creates a video and also makes it responsive. See how it shrinks when I change the size of my browser? Like here's what this website would look like on an iPhone, for example, and the video you know, adapts and our text adapts. If we stretch it out, here's about iPad size or whatever. And then we come on out and there is full size for a, you know, a larger monitor. All right, so there's our home page with a video. Um, about page, some text, blog, contact, store and these are all just kind of text pages and you can see how I turn the, the comments off and let's go ahead and just look at the blog and do a quick uh, blog post so we've been working on pages now we're going to do a look at, take a look at posts all posts. Instead of hitting add new, I'm going to do the same thing I did with our sample page. I'm going to take this hello world post and just modify it and say uh, nature baby outfitter new website. So I'm just going to change this text to welcome to our new website. Please let us know of any feedback you have on our website. And if you have any questions about our store and organization. 
Some just made that up. But anyways, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and click update and head on over to our blog, hit refresh, and you can see there's our first blog post. Looks like there's one comment which was just a sample um, sample comments showing you how the commenting system works. But you know if I was I'm logged in right now as the admin user, so uh, I'm just gonna testing comments. I'm gonna hit post comment, and you can see there's my comment. All right, so that's the blog, and from here we're gonna start working on a little bit of. Uh, graphics to make the site look uh, a little a little prettier and put some more of our own images in there. Alright, so now we've got some basic text content on our site and even a video here. Now let's uh, make it you know a little more uh, of its own unique identity by working with the images and the graphics a little bit. And we're just going to cover the real basics here. Uh, this theme actually comes with some pretty nice uh, kind of default images up here in what's called the header. Uh, but we want we want something that uh, looks pretty good and is more branded to being a attachment parenting type store. So the first thing we're going to do is change this header. Um, and if you can see here, it's good to kind of do things in batches. And I have already organized, you know, the pictures I'm going to be using for this project. So they're all here in a folder on my desktop. They're all in JPEG format. Um, PNGs are okay, but for the most part, you really just want to be working with JPEGs. So here is the header image that we're going to use for this demo, uh, just in a folder on my desktop. So I'm going to go back to WordPress here. Here's our dashboard, and we're going to go to Appearance, Header, click on that. And you can see this is the header for the site now, and it's set to randomly uh, cycle through these different images, which it was doing. But we're going to choose our own. So I'm going to hit Browse, and here is my header. So I'm going to hit open and upload and you can see it doesn't quite fit. Like you could you could have like a full rectangular picture and then this little crop functionality here would allow you to you know crop it but when you think about headers from an artistic or graphical point of view you gotta remember that it's usually just a slice. Uh, some people do like a, you know, kind of an average slice, a thin slice, a fat slice, or some people just get rid of the header altogether. But um, anyways, we're going to just use this uh, cropping tool from WordPress. And we're just going to crop it right there. Crop and publish. There it is. You can see it's selected in the, in the uh, header area where we are here. And I'm going to hit Save Changes. Let's take a look at how it looks. I'm just going to hit Refresh over here. Boom, and you can see our header image is there. It looks, looks pretty good. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to focus on you know, getting some images down here into the text area. So I'm going to go back to my home page, and I've already organized basically one picture for each one of these pages. And there's, there's a lot of different things you can do with images, but we're just going to insert them into our text content. So if I go to Pages, All Pages, Welcome, which is our home page, you can see here's the text, here's that YouTube video. 
And when I look at this, you know, it's really important, this area uh, that you see on the screen, uh, what you first see uh, is called above the fold. And so if someone new for the first time lands on your website, you really want them to get a sense of, you know, what you're all about and how you can help them and uh, what kind of information and content you have on your site. So the title does that up here. Uh, so does the header. We can tell it's about babies, attachment parenting, uh, and then we get into the text content, a video about it. But let's add a, let's add a little picture to the mix. And since we already have a video down here, let's try putting it uh, in our text body here. So I see, here's our text, and we're, this is just the WordPress visual editor. I'm going to put the cursor right here at the very beginning of the text. And then right here where it says upload insert, I'm going to click this image. Looks like a little camera and a music note. And I'm going to select files. You can also drag and drop files into there. We'll do that on another demonstration. So here's my home image. I'm going to hit open. Now it's not only uploading to this page, but it's also getting put into our WordPress media library. So if we need to use this image again later, it's now housed on our website. So you can see how big our image is, title, you can change all this. Um, I'm going to click none so that the image doesn't link to somewhere else. I just kind of want to insert it and not have it hyperlink anywhere. So I'm going to hit none there. And on alignment, I'm actually going to try right. And then you can see the sizes here. 150 by 150 pixels is kind of small. Uh, the full size version of this image was only 553 by 712, which is a good size. It's about the main a little smaller than the main content area of our website, but let's try this medium size of 223 by 300. And we're going to insert into post. And there it is. This is what it looks like in WordPress in our, in our visual editor. I'm just going to hit update. And here's our page. I'm going to hit refresh over here and we should see our image right here. So I think that looks good enough for our demonstration. Uh, we've got you know, a nice title, a header, a menu, the main content area, our, an image, and a video. So this is a really good demonstration of a lot of elements of a web page. And there's, you know, it's a nice, nice simple, simple web page. Alright, now let's switch gears and go to our about page. And I'm going to go to all pages here, about, and I'm just going to hit return off the, and put an image in below the text here, maybe try that, see how that works. So I'm going to hit our upload insert. Select files. It's already looking at the folder that I have on my desktop called Nature Baby Outfitter. And I'm going to open this image. And I'm going to click none so it doesn't link anywhere. I'm actually going to switch this to center. It kind of remembers the last option that you selected. And medium is 300 to 200. Let's go full size and see how that looks. Insert into post. I'm going to hit update. And let's see what it looks like on the real site. There we go. And that looks okay. And just to show you again about the responsiveness of the responsive design. See how the image shrinks as our viewport or screen size shrinks. You also notice the header adjusts and adapts too. All right.
So that's an example of full size below the content area. And next up is uh, let's go to our contact page. So contact. All right, I'm just going to put the cursor here at the beginning of the very first line because I'm looking at this and from a design perspective. There's not too much going on here, so I'd, I'm probably going to want to put an image over in this region. See how that looks anyways. We'll let our human eye be the judge of that. So I'm going to hit upload insert. Select. Contact. And this is the owner of the business and her daughter. Hit open. And it's uploading. There we go. Again, I'm going to select none. Now, this is a very large image, this size of pixels. So let's, let's shrink it down um, really small. Actually, let's go medium here, 199 by 300 pixels. And we had it on center the last time. I'm actually going to switch it over to right and insert into post. Update. And I think that looks OK, but I might actually switch it a little bit. So one way you can do that from your editor here is you just kind of click on the picture and if you click that that will delete it the little red circle with the slash but um, I'm going to click on this and I'm going to switch it to left alignment hit update update here and let's see how that looks Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. I just put a little space in there to separate the um, address from the email address. You know, and then I'm going to hit refresh over here, and you see the space reflected. Um, and I'm going to show you a really quick trick uh, on how to deal with email addresses. Uh, one thing you can do is if you highlight that and hit this hyperlink button, instead of linking to another website, uh, you change this HTTP to mail to, and then uh, let's see, it's hello at naturebabyoutfitter.com. Hello at nature. Maybe outfitter.com. Hit add link, update. And now we have one of those deals where if you click on this email address, it's going to open up your mail program. And uh, that's how you create one of those, FYI. A lot of people you'll see in their websites, they integrate some type of contact form so that they're email address is not publicly displayed which can tend to cut down a little bit on spam traffic and um, also uh, you know just kind of keeping your email address private especially if you're using your your personal uh, email address all right so let's go over to our store and pages Store. And in this case, I'm going to put the cursor at the beginning, upload insert, select files, select 
So it's uploading. And it's taking a little while to upload, so the image is probably a little big. It's nice to, you know, for the web to not upload like really huge images that, um, you know, are like over a, you know, a couple megabytes in size or whatever. That's a little big for the web, unless you're, uh, you know, like an artist or some something where you need to retain absolute maximum. Uh, quality. It's good to, uh, if you know how to do it, to make your images, um, make the file size a little less and the actual size, the pixel size of the image a little less. So in this case, let's try center, large, no link, insert into post. I'm going to hit update here. And there we are. And again, if I wanted to, you know, let's just say I wanted to delete that image and put it below the, the text instead of on top, I would just go down here, hit insert, and now except for you know, dropping it inside here or using select. I've already used this image once, so I'm going to select media library. And you can see the images I've already uploaded here. I'll click show on this one. This is the one. And I'm going to do none, center, insert into post. I'm going to hit update. And here's the front end. I'm going to hit refresh. And you can see how it switched the text on top, or basically the image went below the text. So that is how to insert images. I'm just going to go to our blog here. And instead of in pages, I'm going to go to posts, all posts. Clicking on our only blog post there, and I'm going to add this image here. None. Uh, let's go with. Center, full size, insert into post, update. So now there's an image inside of a blog post. And this area over here, this is called a uh, the sidebar, and we're going to go over that in just a little bit. But I just want to take a moment and point out that what we have here is a fully functional, responsive website that you know works just fine for a business without spending a lot of money or uh, hiring an expensive web designer to uh, do this. You can do this yourself. It just takes time and practice and knowing when to realize that enough is enough. Like you've you have a website, it has web pages, you've got uh, your information on there, you've got text, you've got some photos, we've even got a video on this site and we put this site together uh, very cheaply and affordably without you know, upgrading to a, a premium theme and that sort of thing. So it is possible if you're on a tight budget to just build your own website with the text, the pictures, and the information you already have, you just have to, you know, learn a few basics about working with your hosting service, installing WordPress, adding content to WordPress, and you know, making uh, your site look in general how you want it to look. And the the thing is, you can always hire 
a designer or get a premium theme later if you want it to look more fancy but there's still actually a lot more we can do with this theme again it's re responsive so this this is going to adapt well to a mobile device or a tablet like the iPad and we have a fully functional website and in the next part of this video we're just going to go in over some more details show you a little bit more about the options inside WordPress but as of right now this website is good to go ready for the public to see ready to put on the business card and hand out so thank you for watching this video and uh, look forward to seeing you in the next one and we'll go over some of the more fine-tuning details and options available in WordPress thanks a lot